All right. Good morning, everybody. I am Ashley Evans, and I'm going to start muting people. Um, and I am here to do a little bit of a wake up, kick butt, repeat motivation morning for you guys. Um, so I got my title actually from a shirt that I wear. Um, it doesn't say butt, it says the other word, but I didn't know if they would let me say that other word. So I try to behave on these calls. Um, I also wear a lot of things that motivate me, I believe in, I surround myself in that kind of stuff. Um, oh, Waco, Texas. Sorry. Okay. If I could figure out how to turn chat off, because I will totally get distracted. Um, So I want to go a little bit about how I start my day. I actually have um, a routine that I go by, go through every morning um, to get myself prepared for the day. I don't allow excuses to get in my way. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys some stuff too that I have. Let me... I have this great way of splitting my screen and I just got to figure out how to do it. Okay. So one thing that I start my morning with is a routine. Some people cannot go by a routine, but I thrive and live off of routine. So, um, that's how I live my, that's how I go about my day. Cause it makes it easier for me. Also, I'm a special needs mom and that's pretty much the only life I know is living a routine. Um, so here's some seven daily habits that I use to start my day. Every day I wake up and I make my bed. Some people are like, what in the world does that have to do with anything? It's that first thing I wake up, I do, and I comp and I accomplish for the day. And that way, when I walk into my room, my bed is ready to go. Even though I work in my bed a ton of time, the soccer's still made and I'm sitting in my made bed. Um, I like to call it put the next one I do is I call it putting my armor on. And some people are like, what in the world is that? Um, I wear things that motivate me. So if it's a gym day, I wake up and I put my gym clothes on. I put my sneakers on and I am ready to go. Um, I wear a lot of like now I have my lion's not sheep on a shirt on. I wear a lot of lion's not sheep gear. I'm very a huge believer in that mission and what stands behind that whole motto. Um, I wear motivational shirts, jewelry. Um, even when I go out and I don't go out often and dress up, but when I do, it may not be something that um, is something that says something motivating on it, but when I go out, I feel motivated and like ready to conquer the world. Like kind of like I'm the bee's knees, but I'm really not. Um, it's just how I present myself. Um, so whatever it is for you that that motivates you and that makes you feel good and makes you want to strive your day, put it on. Um, I get up and I get moving. So in the morning when my daughter's getting ready for school and eating her breakfast, I walk around my kitchen island just to get my body moving and started for the day, not grab a cup of coffee and go sit down. Like I get up and I walk around for however long. Um, I drink water first thing in the morning. I get up. I literally have this 40 ounce bottle of water, jug of water that I carry around with me everywhere. Um, when I wake up in the morning, just to get my body and my thoughts process going, I drink a minimum of 16 ounces of water. My personal water intake goal is 120 ounces a day. And usually when I tell people that their faces are like, Hell no, <laughs> but it's, I live in Arizona, face it. You gotta be like a freaking camel out here. Um, so you don't die. 
Um, and then I always, the night before, and I'm, I know you've probably all, all heard Jody talk about, like, she talks about making her list. I make a list at nighttime. In the morning, I review my list. I review my calendar. Um, when I don't live in structure, I screw up big time. Like the last few weeks, my life has been turned upside down. I've gone through some crazy ass things that some people would you, you probably only see on TV. Um, my daughter's getting ready to graduate. You know, I never thought that I would have a daughter who loves school because I dropped out of high school. Um, so now I'm watching my daughter you know, with special needs, do something I've never accomplished before. So that's like a huge thing. Um, so review your calendar, have your, have your day set up in structure of what you want to do, you know, whether it's, a, you know, life stuff, travel business stuff, your nine to five, whatever it is. Um, I also read personal development books, a lot of them. Um, I read a minimum of 15 minutes a day or I listen to a podcast, depending what I'm doing. Like if I go out walking, I'll listen to a podcast and my podcasts are something that are going to bring value to my life and not just like my daughter's obsessed with Logan Paul, like not listening to Logan Paul crap. Like I am listening to things that are going to motivate me, that are going to bring value to my life, that are going to put me in a place where I want to be. Um, and then I reflect on every day, I reflect on my why. And I also have a personal mantra that I say every day. Sometimes I do it looking in a mirror, um, but it's what gets me going. Um, so I read a lot of personal development books to grow my mind. Plus the fact that I hate reading. So in order to become a better reader, you need to read more. <laughs> um, and I actually have a, a few books that I brought over from my bookshelf that have been especially business wise. So one book I want to share want. is, um, let me mute. Okay. So one book I want to share, especially when it comes to business, um, this doesn't necessarily pertain to our business, but it is within the network marketing, um, field. To me, there is absolutely no issues with network marketing, direct sales, any of that. It's just finding the right spot, the right company and doing your research. To me, there's having a passive income and being in direct marketing or network, um, network marketing is really, really where you're going to get ahead because you have to have multiple streams of income in order to really get ahead in life if that's what you're looking to do. Um, so this one book, it's called, it's called get over your damn self and you really got to get over your damn self and stop letting, and this really goes into, um, the mindset work too, of really who cares what other people think of what you're doing. If it's not for them, it's not for them because quite frankly, this is not for everybody. Um, so that's a good book that I recommend. It's here, I'll hold it up because unlike Rachel, I am not going to say these crazy names, but it's Romy Nosh, whatever. If you just type, get over your damn self book, you'll find it. Um, that one super good i've read it a couple of times and it shows you how to grow your business you know helps you how to grow your business and your network and things like that um another book that i read that i've read twice is called atomic habits by this one's by james clear this one's super super good 
Um, I've also met um, this author and I actually had him sign my book. Um, Tom Hamill. It's called The Life You're Meant to Lead. And he goes into where he was in his life um, selling drugs and not in a very good space. And now he is a millionaire. Like he's living his best life now. And it's about the 10 steps to cultivate purpose and awaken greatness. So that's a really good book. And then this woman, Dana Wild, it's called Train Your Brain. And this is another one that I've read a couple times. Um, and this is about how to build a million dollar business. If that's what you're looking to do. I know for me, I am, I want better than what I grew up with. Not that I had a crappy life, but I want to be able to provide my, my daughter more than what I was. And it's unfortunate that it's taken me this long to really get to that space of my life um, and stop caring about what other people thought and living um, living by other people's meaning of life. So that's really why I'm a huge um, Lions Not Cheap fan because that's really the whole mission is leading the life that you're meant to lead and that you want to lead. Um, so another thing that I do is I lead from the future and I act in the now. And some people, you know, you may be thinking like, what is that? So I make daily consistent choices that will move me forward to who and what I want to become. So it's really coming into what, who do you want to be? You know, what do you want to show this world? You know, who are you in your life? It's personal business as, you know, family. Like if you're a wife, what kind of wife do you want to be? If you're a mom, what kind of mom do you want to be? Um, if you're in a relation, what, you know, what kind of boyfriend, girlfriend do you want to be? I forgot there's men on here too. So what kind of husband do you want to be? What kind of dad do you want to be? You know, who do you want to show up as, as your future self? And think about who you want to be because you want to start acting now as that future self. So you're going to make choices now to get you to that place. So, and that kind of rolls in goal setting and vision boards. I have a vision board. I have it on my, I did a digital one. Um, I do want to print it up and post it somewhere in my room. Um, but right now I have, I have it on my computer. I have it on my phone. And that's going to really help you visualize like what you want. There's um, one person that's actually on my vision board. Um, I'm on a health journey and she is a online trainer from Canada who I have been following. And one day she slid in my DMs because I filled out an application not thinking she would be the one that would reach out to me. I figured it would be somebody within her company. And I now work with her as a, um, as a client and she's my online personal trainer. So she was on my vision board and I like idolize her and now she's in my life. So that's how you create what you want. You put it in your face and you make it happen. Um, so with your vision board, you want to look at, you know, in goal setting, what do you want? What do you envision? Who are you showing up as? Um, 
how are you the thing and what the second thing is once you figure that all out is how are you going to get there like it's not just going to happen you can't just wish for it you have to work for it um it's kind of like people who it drives me nuts when people say oh i wish i could just win the lottery okay how many damn times have you played the lottery because you're not going to win the damn lottery if you're not playing it so you need to um you need to make the choices to become who you want to become um if you are not where you want to be in life this is a tough one for some people to swallow, but sometimes you need to die to become who you want to be. And I don't, some people take it out of way out of context, but it's not, you need like, you need, if you want better, you need to become better. So who are you becoming? What are you doing to become better? Um, some people don't know, I live in Arizona right now, but I'm originally from Pennsylvania. I spent my whole entire life in Pennsylvania. I've never thought I would have left Pennsylvania, especially with my daughter and living in a, um, living in a split home, you know, because her dad could technically say, no, she can't go and fight me in court. Well, luckily I got one of those dads that he didn't stop me and moving to Arizona was my start over. That's where I made the decision. I ain't saying y'all gotta like move, but that's what I, I needed. And I didn't realize I needed was to get out of there and get away from people who were holding me back. Um, I actually, and it's okay to say sayonara to people who are not helping you grow and who are constantly bringing you down. I had a best friend for years, her and I were best friends, but it got to the point it was exhausting to be her friend anymore because I was so worried about and so making sure that she was okay that when i sat there and i looked at everything never once did she turn around and ask how i'm doing it was always what can i do to help you where can i support you but it was never and it literally sucked the life out of me and her and I are not friends like we used to be. And I let her know that I can't do this anymore. I want to become something better that I cannot surround myself with people who are going to bring me down. Um, and we now have, I mean, we are friends, but we are not that kind of friendship anymore. I check in and say, hey, how you doing? I'll see posts on Facebook of her. Um, but it's hope you're doing well. Have a great day. That's it. I don't find ways to help her anymore because you cannot help somebody who's not willing to help themselves. So the same goes for you. Are you ready to make that decision in your life to be different if you're not happy where you are relationships friendships um i hear people i have a friend right now that horrible 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 marriage but she stays for a paycheck who the hell does that i mean obviously she does but why would you put yourself in that position when there is a opportunity out there for everybody it's just finding your purpose and what that opportunity is for you um one thing i brought up kind of going out of order on my list but whatever i just start rolling and i get into it um 
so into that i'm going to roll into do things that you're afraid to do um moving here scared the ever living daylights out of me because i came here with nothing um i sold everything pretty much of mine back in pennsylvania and kept my kid stuff i moved from pennsylvania to arizona in a nine by seven storage container and that is it that is all that is all of my life i brought of 30 see that was so 35 years of my life fit into a nine by seven whatever it was eight by seven storage container and 90 percent of it consisted of my kids all i wanted was my mattress because it's freaking comfortable and my couch <laughs> and my clothing um and i did it i just picked up and moved i had no job here i moved right before all hell broke loose with the world and the pandemic and everything going up. So I currently, yes, I still live with my parents because Arizona is no joke as far as living. Um, and as a single parent, it's tough. So here I am trying to do better. Yes, I have a full-time job. I am a caretaker for my daughter. She's 18 years old who cannot care for herself. That is my full-time job. Um, to me it's, and then I have the travel thing and I decided, you know, my travel business is what I want to do. So now I am putting in the steps, the daily steps every day to build that. So that way I can provide more for my daughter, um, and myself so i like nice things and i pay for nice things because to me it's an investment to myself um i definitely like to see life as you don't have one more shot like this is it this is your life you have one shot so you need to create what you want. Um, another thing I like to live by is called the effort factor. And I'm going to say just the effort factor. <laughs> <laughs> um, I live by this because I, I've learned, and yes, I have done extensive therapy over the last few months and, um, and it's crazy even diving into that where things have come from in my life. Um, but I choose, I choose the effort factor and I don't let things deter me from, you know, from being who I want to be. Um, there's also a sticker that I have that I have on my computer. It's, it says, let shit go. It's like the adult version of frozen. You're just gonna let that shit go and you're gonna get rid of negative um i literally don't watch the news if somebody told me about what was going on in the world i nine times out of ten have no idea um at least as far as in detail of what's going on like you know when there was a war in ukraine and all that like i knew that stuff was going on but i don't go into in depth because honestly the news is nothing but negative crap um, and I unfollow drama on Facebook. I, you know, we all scroll and you should not spend half your day scrolling through Facebook because that time you could be putting towards your business, putting towards your mental health, putting towards your physical health. Um, but I unfollow drama. If there's people who I've known for a long time, but all they do is post ridiculous, stupid crap, I will unfollow them. I still have them as a friend, but I don't see their junk in my freaking news feed. Like, I want to see positive. Um, I surround myself with like-minded people. Evaluate the people you're surrounding yourself with. Um, do they bring out the best in you or do they bring out the stress in you? And that's where it's okay to let people go. If not, um, if they constantly bring you down or you 
you're building your business, your travel business, and they don't, they don't support you, you know, evaluate that. Like, why don't they support you? You know, is it because they think you're doing an MLM? Well, guess what? They're not a like-minded person then like you. Um, so I, I know I brought up about your why and there's a, a activity, I guess you want to call it that I'm going to share with you guys in the chat. Um, it's called the seven layers deep exercise. So I get some of you and we always hear Jody talks about it. Any, any personal development I've been in, they talk about finding your why. Um, and it's huge and it's gotta be good and it's gotta be strong. You can't just be like, oh, my why is for my kids. Cause I can guarantee you that why for your kids ain't going to wake your ass up in the morning and do what you got to do. It's got to go deeper than just your kids. Why for your kids? What is it going to benefit you as a parent for your kids? So I'm going to put in the chat a, there's a paper version that I'm going to share. And it's actually through um, Dean, his name's on the paper. Like I said, I don't do. Oh yes. And Rebecca, that one is a great, great one too. Um, so Rebecca put in another resource. I was actually watching that last night too. Um, and there is, what's the name of his book, Rebecca? Do you know off the top of your head? I think he has a book. Um, but I was actually watching YouTube videos of him last night. He's got a couple. Yeah. Um, he's like, one of them is finding your why, but, but yeah. he leads you through the entire process of it. Yeah. So I'm going to put this one activity in the chat here and, um, everyone definitely want to send it to everybody. So this goes into, so when you open this up, I saved it to my computer. Um, when you open this up, it's going to talk about what, what this is. And then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it's actually going to give you an example. So it's kind of dummy proofed. Um, So you can do it this way where you have it on paper, you can rewrite it in a notebook, but you are going to peel the onion of your why, because it guaranteed that first reason, say it's your kids, you need to go deeper than, you know, deeper than that. So the very first thing is what is important to you about becoming successful? And this is any area of your life. It doesn't mean success in financial, but it's success in your personal life, like successful as a mother, successful as, you know, a friend, like anything in life, make it, it can be personal or business, um, roll it into one. My end personally right now is success to me is finding a better solution for my financials and building building a legacy for my kiddo because i have a i have a daughter that it scares the absolute shit out of me if something were to happen to me right now i don't know i don't have a plan yet for her because, and then I may cry, <laughs> because she can't take care of herself and I do not want her to be a ward of the state. And it's even coming down to finding that person who I can and will take care of her after I'm gone. 
um, even when I moved here, I drove school bus when I first moved here and I picked up, I drove a special ed bus and I picked up a kid that lived at a group home that his parents put him in. And every day he had two backpacks and I was like, what in the world is this kid doing? And here he was packing his clothes every day to take to school because people at the group home were stealing his shit. And I do not want that. I will provide, I will do what I have to do to provide for my kid. So I would never, ever have to put her in that situation. Um, so find your why. I also want to send you, there's also a, um, hold on, let me copy this. I'm going to put it in here. So this one also is computer generated. So when you put it in, it'll take you to the next step and rewrite what you just put in there. And then it'll take you to the seven and you have to get to the seven. Don't get to, you know, the fourth one down and be like, yep, I'm good. No, you're not good. Keep going. If that, why don't make you cry? It's not strong enough. If that, why does not get you up in the morning and say, you're going to do the damn thing. It ain't strong enough. If you have a headache and you don't feel like you don't feel like doing anything, where's that headache going to get you at the end of the day? You know, you have to, um, you have to push through because you know what people who, people who get things and gain things, what they want in life, they don't just wish for it. You have to work for it, which I have. So I'm rearranging my room. So I actually have them off my wall right now, <laughs> but I have literally, like, I look like a motivational, like crazy person probably because I have things everywhere throughout my house of things that will motivate me. They're sayings. I have even on my bathroom mirrors, I have sayings on post, like uh, not post-it notes, but um, index cards that I wrote and I have taped to my freaking mirror because I want to surround myself with that. Um, so I have two on my wall right now. The one says hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. And then another one I have is I came, I saw, I conquered. Now I have these things everywhere within my room. Um, so another one, so these are my signs, literally got them on Amazon. Amazon has everything. So my next one that I have is it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. And this is true in everything everything in your life you want something that you want to if you want to create a life that others won't do it's going to be hard as hell but at the end it's going to be worth it because you did it and you accomplished um the dream is free and the and the hustle is sold separately that's another one that i absolutely love and obviously don't wish for it work for it you can't just keep, oh, I wish, you know, I wish I could find, you know, that one big client, or I wish that I could make an extra $5,000 a month, whatever it is. You can't just keep wishing for it. What are you doing and what are your daily steps to get there? Um, this one is huge because I know Jody has put in the chat a few times when she has openings of one-on-one -on -one mentoring time that we, all of us can sign up for when she offers that to everybody. 
and there was an instance that somebody signed up for something and never showed up. So you are missing 100% of the shots that you don't take. You have a mentor that is offering your time and I'm gonna tell you a funny story. She did this when I first started as a um, as an agent. And she posted posted it in the chat and I asked the question, is this for everybody? even new agents. And she said, yes. When I got on that call with her, I was freaking thrilled because of the fact I came from a place and another business opportunity that I was in that I asked for one-on-one -on -one mentor time because I was stuck in a rut and they would not give that to me because I was not at a certain place in my business making a certain amount of money for them to meet with me which mind like to me is mind blown because I it made me feel like I was only good enough if I was providing you a certain paycheck. Like my value as a person and reaching out to you and doing the hard thing of even asking for that one on one mentor time was not worth it because I wasn't at a rank that they felt as though I was worth their time. So when Jody gave me that time, that was huge for me. And I even said to her, like, this is, this is where I came from. And even though that, yeah, that business got me on the right start and the right path to where I am today and starting to open my eyes and surround myself with different people, I knew that wasn't the business for me when I was only good enough if I was at a certain place in my business. So we have a really good thing here and we haven't, I mean, when they talk about team horizon being the best team, like we really are like, I, I don't even know what the other teams are, but coming from different businesses, like I've never been part of an organization like this before. I've made friendships. You know, I may have met my future mother-in-law at some point, but they just don't realize it yet. <laughs> you know, like you bond with people, even when, if, even if we're just on this dang zoom together, like we get to know each other. We build friendships. We, we bond. I tell my story about things because I don't. I don't live in a life of secrecy because I never know whose life I'm going to touch by sharing my story. You know, people used to, um, so the other business I was in, I was a health coach. I did really good, but then I, you know, I gained the weight back because I started to see what their mission was and their mission really was, is just taking your clients and turning them into coaches. And that's what I love about this is you, you come in here and you want to be a, and you want to be a travel agent. That is it. That is what we came in here to do. We came here to be travel agents. We do not push anybody to want to mentor. And that's what I love. Because I don't bring like, I, yes, I am a team builder, but I bring on people who want to be travel agents and provide better for themselves and their families and find a passion that they love doing. I'm not bringing you on as an agent in hopes that you want to mentor because that's not what I'm out to do either. Um, Another sign that I have is be stronger than your excuses. That's a big one. Nothing will work unless you do. And don't wish for it, work for it. I think I already said that one. But so <clears throat> one thing that I really, I really want to stress on is finding your why. Finding who you want to be, what you want to be. If you want to earn, be a five figure a month earner, then who the hell are you to 
be that person? What are you doing every freaking day to become a five, six figure income, monthly income earner? Because I can tell you one thing, a five to six figure income earner is not sleeping in. They are waking up to do the do and to become successful and to work towards their goals. They work during a headache. They work during, you know, and, and that's the tough part. Some people don't realize that, yes, it, it takes a lot of work and it's not going to happen overnight. Even in a, even in a business where you have a, um, I'm trying to think of the word, I'm totally just brain farted, um, where you have an actual physical building business. What the heck is that word? Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Brick and mortar. That's it. See, Rebecca, she's she's got everything. So the brick and mortar. Usually the average brick and mortar business takes at least five years to build and become successful. So those people who give up within the first five years of those kinds of businesses usually let a lot of times it could be potentially a really good thing go because they didn't give it the opportunity so if you feel like you want to if you feel like you want to quit just keep going granted this isn't meant this isn't for everybody um because people get in their head and you've got to get out of your own damn head like if you want to, um, you are, you have, you have your one life and you are the creator of this one life. You create your story. You are able to, if things aren't going where you are, close that damn chapter and move on, write another one. Because it's not the end all be all where you're at in life. Like right now, yeah, I, it really sucks to sit here and say, I am 41 years old and I live with my parents, but I know what my surrounding is right now. And I am working towards that. Like Arizona is a completely different entity as far as living than I've ever dealt with in Pennsylvania. I live in a place where, and I don't know if every place is like this, but Pennsylvania at the time where I lived was not like this, but I need to make I can afford to live on my own, but my income isn't high enough because they want, if you rent here, they want three times, a lot of the places, three times the rent for your income. And there is, for a two bedroom around here, I can't find anything under $2,000. So they're trying to tell me I need to make over seven grand a month to live in an apartment when I can buy a dang house at that point. So it, it hurts, it hurts the heart to know like, yeah, but you know what? I have a roof over my head. My kid is provided for. She is surrounded by a shit ton of love. You know, I'm not on the streets. Things could be a lot worse. And that's things that I had to, I had to remind myself that, yeah, I live here, but my parents support me with my goals. They help me, you know, get ahead and get to where I want to be. And when I'm ready, we're going, you know, we're moving on. So that is really like my little motivation and find your why, find your morning routine, get into structure with your business. Set yourself business hours. If you work a nine to five, then find that time that you're going to put in for your business. I right now work. Um, so my daughter graduates on Monday. Tomorrow is her last day of school, Thursday and Friday. Who knows what that's going to look like? Cause she's going to be home. But right now, like my structure is I work while she's at school and when she's in bed, because when she's awake, those are my working hours that I'm on with her. So 
find that time, stop making excuses of why you can't do things, figure out how you're going to do things. Don't, don't talk yourself out of things because you're afraid to do them. You know, I talk to people all the time and it could be just a simple walking through the grocery store and smiling at somebody and saying hello. Because you know what, you never know how, who's having a really crap day and that little gesture made their day. So while you're doing that to other people, remember to always do it to yourself too. Give yourself grace. Don't, don't be hard on yourself and think you can't do things because that's only your thoughts. So, and that's where leading in the future and acting in the now comes in. You know, so start living of who you want to be. Figure out who you want to be. Um, why? Why you want that? You know, this is, um, this is a day for a new start. You know, if you right now are sitting here thinking, well, damn, I'm not anywhere where I want to be. Then think about where you want to be, why you want to be there. Who's showing up? Like if you would close your eyes and think about in the future and look at your future self, what are you wearing? Where are you? What are you doing? You know, if you you want to become a better mother okay what are, in the future what are you doing as a family you know if you want to become a better spouse what are you guys doing together like really dive deep and then peel that onion for your why and if it starts making you cry keep going until you're really there And yes, Trisha, PA sucks. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is what I have this morning. And I got it all done in 50 minutes. So, so I know the comments are like going crazy and I have not been able to keep up. Um, but does anybody want to come off of mute, ask questions, give me your how you th give me your thoughts nine times out of ten if you didn't like it i really don't care um because i'm doing me and this is what you know i've learned to just let shit go and not care what other people think that's going to hold me back so anybody yeah uh can you repeat the books it was atomic habits by who was the author James Clear. James Clear. And then The Life You're Meant to Lead is by... Tom Hamill. Tom Hamill. And Train Your Brain is by... Dana Wild. Dana Wild. Thanks, Ashley. You're welcome. I'll tell you that Atomic Habits completely made me look at how we form new habits. It's yes. crazy. Yes. I and highly you recommend at least listening to that book. Yeah. I've listened to it. I've read it twice. And your habits, and this is the thing, your habits, you can't just do it one time and be like, oh, I made it a habit. You, It has to be continuous every single day. Like, I like to explain my life as the movie The Groundhog Day because that is legit my days. I wake up at the same time every day, 5 a.m., sometimes 4.30, if I got a really good night's sleep and I just wake up on my own. But I have a routine. I have habits I do every day to get my day going. Um, so I'm gonna go through some of the, the chat here because I know there's some stuff in here. Um, 
Brandon's on my time. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. All right, Cindy agrees with number two. Am I a Christian? So, I'm a believer of all things. <laughs> I have I have a very spiritual. Um, I there's um it was a Netflix series. Oh, it's called The Secret. If you can ever watch The Secret on Netflix, it is mind blown about how you can talk things into existence and that's where you're and really um your vision board is you're speaking all of that into existence so speak what you want into existence um ashley i totally agree yes. um so in january i took uh, if you see him, the, uh, the, 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 uh, stream, the comment stream, um, the yeah, I'm getting stream, there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, in January, I took a, um, a seminar, uh, hosted by Tony Robbins called the mm -hmm. unshakable challenge changed my life. Yep. And one of the things that really had me bawling was, was dealing with your identity and, mm -hmm. Uh, prior to that, and even this journey, my identity was worthless, stupid, um, not confident. After mm -hmm. that, it just totally changed. Confident, happy, positive, everything. And the, one of the things that uh, he says, if you see, uh, your story is your identity. If you yep. want to change your life, you have to change your story, which yep. is pretty much where the why comes in. And yeah. also um, use a lot using can incantations incantations, which is basically um, this motivating self talk uh, yeah. every day in every way. I'm getting stronger and happier, and just say it with a lot of feeling until you, and and say it with emotion and loudly. Who gives a fine f what people think? Exactly. If you believe it, you will. You you it changes. So. Yeah. Yeah. Always, always talk positive to yourself because you are what your thoughts are. Exactly. So if, um, you know, I'm a true believer of treating people the way I want to be treated. And if I treat you with respect, I expect respect. And I have no issues telling people now that the way they treat me is unacceptable and I will not surround myself with that. So you, you put into life, you get out of, you get out of life what you put into it. So if you want to, if you want better friendships, find better friendships, find people who so put yourself in the crowd of people you want to be with and be like, if you want to, if you want to earn, say you want to be a millionaire, you know, who are you hanging around with? Because I can tell you what, if you work in, if you're hanging out with just McDonald's workers, you ain't going to become a millionaire. Invest in yourself. Like David said, I can guarantee you going to a Tony Robbins thing was not a inexpensive thing. Invest in yourself. Go to things like that go to conventions and seminars that are going to build you up and put you in those areas and around people you want to be like it's okay to invest in yourself for the longest time i did not invest in myself and i always put my kid first because that's what we think in our brain and we are trained that because we have a kid, we're now on the back burner. But at the end of the day, if you're on an airplane and that plane's going down with your kid, you're going to put your oxygen mask on first because that's the only way you're going to save your kid. So I'm going to end it with put your own, put your oxygen mask on first. 
invest in yourself and remember to take care of other people you need to take care of yourself first not other people because showing up as the best version of you is going to show your family the the best version of their life as well and i think i'm ending it there because i could just keep on going <laughs> So anybody else, I'm going through the comments, David, you're saying a lot of, a lot of great stuff, especially with the Tony Robbins stuff. Um, but yeah, and take the time, invest in, invest in you, know your greatness, find your greatness and be your greatness. And I'm going to end the recording.